So the other day I posted a video on how I was going to get to a billion dollars of revenue. And a lot of you guys lost your minds. He maybe owns a garage door installation company by the logo on his shirt. Be lucky if your net worth is over a million. What text do $500,000 a year? This guy is an idiot. I mean, this year alone, the accomplishments, hitting Pinnacle Club, selling a million dollars. And how are you going to do that in an industry only worth $250 million a year? Today, I'm going to break down exactly how I plan on getting to a billion dollar revenue and how I become a multi-billionaire in the garage door industry. First of all, started the garage door industry in 2007, fell forward a lot, made a lot of mistakes. Literally, it was through trial and error. You don't know how to hire correctly. Sometimes you're not hiring people that show up on time. Sometimes I had people steal from me. I used to buy really old used trucks. I didn't know really how financials were put together. What could go wrong did go wrong. I've got coached by some of the best companies in the world. I've also hired consultants who've done a horrible job and spend millions of dollars wasting money. And whenever I went out of town, the company stopped producing profits. Out of the first deal I did with A1 Garage Door Service, took on a partner with 25 millionaires came out of it. And when I saw the 25 millionaires change their family tree, I kind of want to do this with a thousand people. We give equity to technicians, we give them to different people in the company, VPs, directors. I know everybody that's listening wants to say, there's no way this is real. Come visit me. We do shop tours. You can see my facility. I'm in a 44,000 square foot facility here. The one next door is 34,000 square feet. And it at this point, we're in 40 markets, 22 states, and we have about 800 employees. I'm sorry to tell you, as much as you don't want it to be real, it's real. I'm with all my executives trying to explain to them how to get to a billion dollars. Let's just say you got a blended ticket average of a thousand. So I'm just going to take a billion dollars and I'm going to divide that by a thousand dollar ticket average. I need to run a million calls. So to get to a million calls, if the average guy runs four calls a day, 300 days out of the year, he's running 1200 calls a year. So remember, I needed a million calls. So I'll type in a million divided by 1200. I need 833 technicians doing four calls a day at a thousand dollar average ticket to get to a billion in revenue. 14 guys a month for five years doing a thousand dollar to average ticket gets me to my numbers. Now you could build in buffers, but it's 14 guys a month, a guy every other day, impossible to hire. We've got full-time recruiters, full-time trainers. This isn't that difficult. A couple things you need. You need great technicians and great customers calling you. How do we get great technicians? Well, when I'm at a restaurant and I see somebody that smiles a lot, they're filling up my water, they're a great bus boy, they tell a great conversation, they aspire to be number one. That's a guy I want on my team because I could train them on how to be a great garage door technician. It's hard to train people to be a good human being, how to look people in the eyes, have empathy. Creating great candidates with a great canvas and teaching them the trade is so intricate to my success. Success. Once you're recruited, you're going to shadow a guy for a few days, make sure this is the career you want. Now you're onboarding, you want the insurance, you want the 401k, you want the PTO, you're bought in. You're going to train for four weeks in your market, you're going to do ride-alongs. Then you're going to fly to Phoenix and stay in our apartments, and this is where you become a certified badass. This is where we're going to train you on everything. Role-playing, make sure you treat customers with respect. This is how we win. It's set up in a way that it's a brotherhood. Everybody's looking out for your best interest. We make a lot of investments. We buy $4,500 worth of tools for every new technician or installer. We literally have a morning mojo call every single morning, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. We have an hour and a half meeting every Thursday. You've got unlimited access to training. We've got specialists in our company, the dispatchers, CSRs, product specialists. Our training center costs $4 million. We wanted to show what a real training center was that focused on everything, real life scenarios. I don't think there's ever a time where we'll stop investing into the people. We've got a thing called the Pinnacle Club. You get equity in the company. You bring your significant other. We go to Mexico. We have a blast. We go fishing. We go on the yachts. And if you're very good at what you do, you deserve to get recognized. You should have a path to move out of the truck We've got several markets ran by technicians that became managers. We have a dream manager program. 60 people were in our dream manager program, 60 technicians. 47 of them bought a house in the program. First house ever. They were living in an apartment. They bought their dream car. They went to Disney World with their kids. That's what's important to me. So we talked about recruiting, training, leadership. The other thing you need is the phone to ring. I would confuse the crap out of you guys if you've seen our marketing campaigns. We've got 7,000 call tracking numbers. We use a CRM called Service Titan where I could track every single campaign. We've got Valpec, those blue mailers that come in the mail. There's 10,000 in each zone. Each and every one of mine have a separate call tracking number to see the conversion rate, who made phone calls. Maybe there's an area of town where the garage doors are 10 years old and a lot of them are breaking. We're gonna know that this zone is popping. And then we're gonna send a separate email campaign. We're gonna do a text message campaign. We're gonna send flyers to that area. We're gonna do door hangers. We're gonna do yard signs. Marketing is a very vast, crazy thing, but a lot of people just focus their attention for marketing only on getting more customers. I focus a lot on getting the right people to come work with 
with me. My coworkers are everything. They're going to refer more people to us. That's just as simple as it is. So I spend a lot of my time figuring out how do I get amazing candidates that want to make six figures. They want to just kill it. They want to buy a second house, a third house. They want to go on the dream cruises. They want to take their dad on the golf trip. We just work on what do they need to do to get there. So when everybody's bought in, you have a great culture. The customer leads are coming in. You're recruiting right. You're training right. You're expanding into more markets. It's just a mathematical equation. I showed it to you guys. To get to a billion, it's a lot of hard work. I've been doing this for two decades. Most people lose focus after a month. They quit their job and go on to the next thing. It's funny when I watch people, they make a promise. I'm going to quit drinking. I'm going to start working out. And they never fulfill their own promises to themselves. And it's a mindset issue. You keep lying to yourself. You're saying, I'm going to get started. One day, one day, one day. Instead of saying it's today, day one. So our strategy to get to a billion is to buy and build companies that already exist. Right now, what's interesting is there's about 10,000 baby boomers retiring a day. 12% of them own a business. That's 1,200 opportunities to buy each day of people looking to get out from under their business. I want to have access to all the garage door companies. Then we go apply our system. So you grow by 30% a year. I'll just do some math for you guys. We're over 200 million, but I'm just going to throw 200 million in here per year times 0.3. Uh, $1 billion in year six. So it's a six-year process at 30% growth. And how do you expect to do 30% growth as you grow into those bigger numbers? Well, the machine gets bigger. Now, instead of one person in the team looking for companies to buy, there's two dozen that are knocking on doors, calling every company. You might say we get into front doors. Now you're looking at a whole new avatar. Then you look at organic growth. We have not taken market share in the majority of our markets. We're not even talking about Canada yet. 30% growth is hard for people to understand month over month, year over year. It's not easy. You look at a company like Terminex, public traded. It's a pest control company, right? Oh. Funny, as of January 2024, Terminex Global has a market cap of 4.62 billion. This makes Terminex Global the world's 2,672nd most valuable company by market cap according to our data. So people say it's impossible to do a billion dollars. Terminex, the people that spray for your scorpions, they spray for your spiders and ants. 4.62 billion. How do you like them apples? It's possible. And the haters, the more you hate on me, the better I'm gonna become. So bring it.